Have you ever been asked, would you still love me if I was a worm? I have, and I've taken what I've learned and made a guide to help you navigate this deceitfully difficult question. But first, we need to review the different types of worms so that you can more accurately picture my partner, Erica, as a worm. So let's start with flatworms. Flatworms are usually flat with soft bodies, and they are most often parasitic. They lack specialized respiratory, skeletal, and circulatory systems. Usually, they are less than 5 millimeters in length, so most of them are microscopic. These creatures can live on land, in fresh or salt water, and within their hosts. They only have one digestive opening, which means they have to eat and poop out of the same hole. Yuck! Next, we have roundworms. Roundworms are generally round in shape, as you may have guessed, but they are also incredibly small. Remarkably, they can be found on almost every habitat on Earth. Roundworms are frequently parasitic, which means they often cause disease in humans, plants, and animals. And then finally, we have segmented worms. Now, segmented worms are the worms you think about when you hear the word worm. They contain complex organ systems and they are sometimes parasitic. If they're not parasitic, they feed on dead organic matter. For the sake of this ridiculous argument, we are going to assume that Erica has turned into an earthworm instead of a flatworm or a roundworm. And here is where the argument begins. So let's, let's just get down to it. Would I still love Erica if she was a worm? Absolutely not. Obviously, I love Erica dearly. She's the best. I'm very happy to be with her. <laughs> so it's not like I don't like Erica. I love Erica. She's amazing. What would Erica look like as a worm? All of you picture Erica as a worm looking very similar to how she looks now. This is what you think Erica would look like as a worm. Get real, okay? Doesn't even make any sense. How do you know she wouldn't look like that? How do you know that she would? I've never seen a worm that looks anything like this, ever. This is what Erica would actually look like if she was a worm, okay? That's it. Nothing crazy. She's just a worm. There's nothing wrong with being a worm. I'm just saying, immediately right out of the gate, being insincere. And you're changing the answer based on that. What do earthworms need to survive? So we need to know what earthworms need. They spend much of their time just below the surface. During the day, earthworms mostly remain in their burrows, underground. At night, they come up near or on the surface to feed. And here are some key words that I thought were important, so I included them in my presentation. Worms are nocturnal, which honestly kind of works for me. <laughs> uh, solitary, that's a minus. And they're also uh, sedentary, which again, that's more of a plus than a minus for me. I'm also pretty sedentary. Nocturnal, solitary, sedentary. Sounds like a true gamer. <laughs> These are very descriptive of gamers across America. Goop brings up a really good point. And also, here's an important question. I think this is kind of the crux of my argument. Do worms have brains? I think it's important, right? Because you guys are all like, somehow the transition of Erica going from a human body and brain into this worm is going to be seamless. Erica is going to be fully conscious. Conscious. Erica is going to be fully aware, able to communicate, able to think rationally about things and logically. Do worms have brains? They do have simple brains. It's important to make the distinction that just because something has a brain doesn't mean it's able to think, to process things logically, or to make memories. A lot of the conscious thought that happens with humans is not possible in a brain this size. I think it's Im that's important to this argument. They cannot create or store memories, which I took a philosophy class in college and one of the thought experiments we had is, are you still you if you're disconnected from your memories? Are you aware and conscious if you cannot store memories? I think it's an interesting concept if you're not able to remember something. So Erica would not even remember me if she was a worm. Erica wouldn't know, if Erica was somehow turned into a worm, she wouldn't even know or remember me. She wouldn't be able to think. She can't even communicate beyond chemical secretions and vibrations, which is going to create a lot of friction in our relationship. The question is not, will Erica love you if Erica is a worm? The question is, will you love her? Yeah, that's part of my issue, Glitch. This is a very one-sided question. Would I take care of Erica and make sure she's comfortable and happy as a worm? Of course. So what do earthworms look for in a partner? Another pivotal piece of this question. So first of all, 
They communicate through touch. They can communicate through taste, which is disgusting. <laughs> I hate that so much. And then they can also feel vibration. So they can feel if the other worm is over there, similar to touch, but they can just you know, sense the vibrations and the movement in the soil. And they use this to avoid predators. How do they mate? So every worm has both sets of reproductive organs. I never knew what that little, uh, little like bandage looking thing on the worm, this thing right here. I never knew what that was. Some animals can like disconnect limbs or something. I thought that's what that was. That's not what that is. It's not the wussy. <laughs> so that is actually the egg sack. The cotelum houses all of the eggs. Once they find each other, they line up side by side, head and tails opposite. They press tightly together and excrete sperm into the other's clitellum. This is really graphic. Plug your ears. Any kids around, give them the earmuffs. And then afterwards, they immediately part ways. The worm drops the egg off and then just leaves it there. Frick it. No child care. So anytime worms mate, they hit it and quit it. They pump and dump. They smash and dash. They wham, bam, and thank you, ma'am. They ejaculate and evacuate. All I'm trying to say is, worms are not around for love. Can worms even love? Would you love me as a worm? Could you even be loved as a worm? Honestly, do you have the capacity to be loved? Because it seems like all you do is bang and then run away from your feelings. Okay, so we just talked about what a worm requires in a partner, right? What does ZC Beard require in a partner, huh? So, uh, first of all, quality time. What are we gonna do together? What are me and a worm gonna do together to spend quality time? We can't play Valorant, which is what we do a lot. We can't watch anything because Erica no longer has eyes or ears and you can't taste Better Call Saul, so we can't do that. We can't leave the yard because Erica has to be uh, in the first meter of topsoil. Words of affirmation, how are we gonna communicate? And uh, last but not least, my last love language, physical touch. Come on, bruh. That's disgusting. I'm not doing that. The worm? I'm not touching a worm like that. I'm not letting a worm touch me like that. That's disgusting. Weird. All I can do in any of my love languages with Erica as a worm is just be near Erica while she's in some mud. And also, another question. How the frick would the transition from human to worm even work? What sort of universe are we in? Are we in a Pixar universe where Erica cartoonishly inhabits a worm's body with like somehow full mental capacity and the ability to use her body just knows how to use her new worm body? Or is it more uh, realistic, I guess, in a sense that Erica is put into a worm's body with all the worm's faculties using a worm brain, a very primitive nervous system. She's not even Erica at that point anymore. I believe, just in terms of like what I know about philosophy, that what makes Erica Erica is how her brain is designed. Her ability to store memories and how she reacts to things and, and uh, making sense of things and putting her own spin on it based on her past memories and past experiences and uh, overcoming things. And she, she has strengths and she has weaknesses. A worm doesn't have any of that, except weaknesses. Worms are fragile as hell. They have a lifespan of eight years. They almost never make it there. Erica's a wonderful person. She's amazing. And you can't fit all that amazing into a worm. That's all I'm saying. The only thing I'm trying to articulate throughout this whole presentation is how ridiculously stupid this whole prompt is. <laughs> it's, it's very predatory. And also, this is an important part. How would I even know it's Erica, guys? If I went home, like if I, cause Erica and I live together, right? If I came home and I couldn't find Erica and there was a worm on the floor, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, is this Erica? <laughs> Erica? Like, I'm just gonna pick this worm up and be like, oh my God, Erica, what happened to you? <laughs> how am I gonna know this is Erica? How would I even put the pieces together? Erica's missing and there's a worm in the house. How would I know? Unless the person in this scenario there's a wizard that turned Erica into a worm, right? And they would have had to make a big flashing sign pointing to this worm on the ground saying, Erica. <laughs> that is the only way that I would know that that is Erica. And even then I'd be like, are you sure this is Erica? Like, I don't, I, I don't know, dude. I'm, prove it to me. I would need to see a video. I would need to be there. Cause even video evidence, I would need to be there 
to see Erica being transformed into a worm. And then I'd be throwing hands with whoever turned Erica into a worm. But all I'm saying is, how the hell would I know that Erica is the worm on the ground? Erica's here. Erica's gonna come whoop my ass. <laughs> I think Erica already turned into a worm in this stream is to explain the breakup. No, 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 she's here, I'll show you. Would you like to add anything? Yes, I have a lot of points. You have a lot of points? At least show your hand on stream so people know you're not a worm. <laughs> she's not a worm, see? It's me. First of all, you don't know me. My life <laughs> as a worm. The whole science behind me, like, not having memories. There's no science about humans being transformed into worms. So you don't know. Because clearly something has happened. <laughs> what do you mean? You, you can't. Your whole argument revolves. Into a worm. <laughs> How do you know that I wouldn't love you? I do agree with your point, though. Here's the, here, this is what I was saying about myself. <laughs> if somebody transformed me into a worm and you weren't here, <laughs> yeah. you probably wouldn't know it was me. That's what I'm saying. Right. I would have no idea. But then on the flip side, okay, if somebody transformed me into a worm and you were here, you would see the transformation, and I don't think yeah. we could be together anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So you don't think you don't think you would like just appear as a worm? You would like no, I'm thinking shrink like, down. Have you ever seen like animorphs? Yeah, the animorphs <laughs> of the girl turning into a rat. I think that's what it would yeah. be, except me into a worm. And I don't think we could date after that. See, but here's the thing: since we don't know like how I got transformed into a worm, <laughs> like, since we don't know the science, and since we don't know if I retain my memories. If you were not gonna date me as a worm, I would just want you to let me go. Like, let set me free. Because what if I did retain my memories? How would I date you, you as a worm? And you kept me- This is what I'm saying. If not, <laughs> you figure that out. You're the human with the brain. You're okay? making this relationship real complicated. I'm just if a regular I human. If I am in a terrarium, okay, and you move on, and I still have my memories, you know how painful that's gonna be? I'm a worm! I don't even have a second chance at love. Yeah, also your max lifespan is eight years in this whole magical process. Oh. Maybe I'll just ride it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Plot twist, I turn into a worm? No way. So I've listened to the whole stream. I've heard all the points, mm -hmm. all the things. If you turn into a worm, I would never date again. And I would just keep you as a little worm in a terrarium. And sometimes I would hold you, but I would try to give you the best life possible. But I would never date anybody again. Would you bring me other worms? No. That's tricked up. <laughs> <laughs> who am I going to vibrate with? No one. What do you mean, who am I going to vibrate with? I got a clitellum now. <laughs> I can just not use it. I'm the only thing living thing that you would need as a worm. That's messed up. There you have it. Those are my points. There's some serious friction in our relationship now. Yeah.